Let me introduce Hans Rodi uh, Knaus. Hans Rodi is from uh, works at Securusys. Um, before that, he has been working for, I think, decades, uh, consulting and working with uh, Microsoft products. Um, and for many, many years, he has been telling me, you have to do something with Securusys to help secure Microsoft applications. We really need that. And now that we have actually uh, double key encryption, bring your own key and customer key, we can. So rather than just having him uh, outside, we hired him this year and uh, he's taking care of it. So Hans Rodi, please go ahead. So my topic here is um, why did we do Securus 365 actually? So um, we heard a lot about uh, information protection services now and it's really very well introduced and <clears throat> that's that's about it and the industry which is hesitating to cloud adoption was was personal uh, thing for me to say how and why do we do that and since i found uh, a very great background with securities i I'm really happy to present the solution for going to the cloud for so many people who were waiting for that opportunity. That's about the why. Then about the reasons, you may know, just a quick wrap up. Um, cloud computing um, does mitigate some risks, workloads, have been have become a bit more dangerous since the pandemics, and most risks we can mitigate uh, with stuff like Office 365 and encryption. For everything uh, related to that stuff, we need keys. And you have been, Robert, you have been talking about how to store keys, how to make C keys safe within an HSM. That's a very important point to the whole environment. And that's why we have that uh, keys as a service or the cloud, the key cloud as a service that everybody interested in going to the cloud, but needing some uh, confidence in the key infrastructure can do it with our keys. So encrypting, is based on uh, who we've got the keys, who has access to the keys. And on the other hand side, without the keys, you messed up. So be careful about these keys. Providing the right balance between accessibility and security is, as usual, a very important point here. So um, having that HSMs, is just a matter of <clears throat> a life, life important. And <clears throat> a very important addition here, um, a few weeks ago, a friend, the French Conseil d'État ruled uh, on March 12th that SHREMS 2, as interpreted by the European Data Protection Board's guidelines, can be met if you have the keys different from the provider. At that point, you might, might be interested in the decision. It's a change. It's a change to our business and it's a change to lots of businesses. Uh, you can have whatever cloud implementation if it's done well, if you manage the keys by yourself or by a trusted partner within the legislation area you work. So, how do we do that? You can have HSMs. You can have them yourself. And you can have it as a service from Switzerland. So it's done by Swiss equipment, Swiss design, operated by a Swiss organization, and <clears throat> That's how to operate your keys that grant data access for you within the very same Swiss legislation authority, which is responsible for making the law and enforcing the rules on how you must protect your data. Microsoft, of course, is not 
or not completely Swiss legislation, you all know you might face the Cloud Act in the US, granting American authorities access to your files. Maybe, maybe not. Most probably they don't, but the possibility exists and that's not what you want and maybe not what you are allowed to accept. So we have to do something about it. We encrypt sensitive data the way we have seen before in the, the slides of Daniel and the slides of Hannes. Uh, this encryption uh, follows certain rules and to be a bit more precise, it's not just two keys, it's two key pairs. A blue Microsoft Information Protection Services key pair, let's call it MIP keys, and the red Securus 365 key pair protected by Securus Clouds HSM. The blue key pair of Microsoft keys, um, <clears throat> we have been talking before, and they were introduced very well by Daniel before. So it's Microsoft key. Optionally, you can have your keys of your very own with your environment on premises or with your private cloud, wherever you want to have, or wherever you want your HSMs to be. Then next, let's have a look on how encryption and decryption keys interact. So let's introduce that file, that very sensitive document of yours we have been talking about. With the first key from Securities, we provide a first encryption. In detail, look at it with the glass. Um, <clears throat> we encrypt the document with the Securities 365 public key presented from the cache of the MIP app with the local PC. And you would need the corresponding red Securus 365 private key from the remote cloud HSM to encrypt it. Microsoft delivers a second key via the MIP app to encrypt your data one more time. And now you would need both of the private keys to encrypt, the to decrypt the data, to access the content of the file. So that's how we get double encrypted files ready to be saved within Microsoft OneDrive or SharePoint Online. Then next, let's assume we need to retrieve the content of the file again. So let's have the same look at decryption and get the file from Microsoft OneDrive or SharePoint back on that local device. Here it is. Within the let's then send the double uh, encrypted padlock which is just the header of the file, not the file itself. That's an important point. The file always remains with the local machine. So we send the header of the file to Microsoft Information Protection Services for decryption. Within their HSM, MIP opens the blue Microsoft locker of the padlock and decrypts that most recent encryption with the blue private key we have seen before. At a key, the blue private key is a key that must never ever leave the HSM and it never ever does. Because the padlock halfway open is now sent back to the requesting MIP, MIP client app. So half the decryption is done. First key has been resolved. Next, we do the same, the identical process with the red Securus 365 locker at the padlock within the Securus Clouds HSM and its right red private key. The double encryption is fully removed now and the file can be processed as usual by Word, Excel or whatever application you use. We have just been heard, uh, talking about Adobe. It's pretty much the same. 
and since we transmit sensitive information over different networks, resolved encryptions to decrypt sensitive documents, we have to provide for encrypted transmission channels as well, of course, each with different encryption keys again. That's what uh, Daniel was talking about when he was uh, showing the layers. It's data and transmission. So actually, because Microsoft 365 and Securities 365 are always encrypted, that's a no-brainer. But it is an important detail um, that we have to talk about, or just to keep in mind. So what's the takeaway? If you need certainty beyond contractual liability, so it, if contracts are not enough, then you choose your bank very carefully. And then you ask for a key of your own before you leave the vault with the safe deposit boxes. And as a short remark here, um, Daniel already mentioned that <clears throat> there are caveats when you say Microsoft is not able to process my files because I'm the only one who can open it. So this is just a list of limitations. Please uh, take note. Then we can change perspective. Um, however, we, it's, it, we're talking about this 5%. Uh, Daniel mentioned it's uh, 2 to 3%, but let's say it's 5 And we change perspective to going to the file. Look at the whole story from a, a secret file, such as a Coca-Cola recipe. What do we need to do with that? As Hannes told us, we need to assign a label. And that's actually the only thing a user is involved with. He assigns the label because it's top secret. He says that's top secret and the rest is a fully automated process. First, with this fully automated process, we do an encryption with a local key, the content encryption key, the green one is encrypting the content of the document there where we have the Coca-Cola recipe and it is saved with the metadata in the header of the file. Then starting <clears throat> at that content encrypted file with the green key in the metadata, we wrap that content encryption key with the red public key from Securacy 365. The content encryption key is protected now. And without the Securacy 365 private key that's within the cloud's HSM, its content isn't retrievable anymore. Then this is the starting point departing from the Securacy 365 encrypted file, the blue Microsoft Information Protection public key will encrypt the metadata once again. Now it is again double encrypted, but just from the other perspective, the one of the document. Now we have applied both keys, the red securities key and the blue Microsoft key to encrypt metadata of the files header. So we have our two public keys applied and we will need to both corresponding private keys to decrypt the Coca-Cola document. So what did we achieve? We successfully mitigate the risk of data breach. No one can read encrypted content. It's just useless data. Now we can provide standardized cloud environment advantages such as uh, Microsoft 365 to highly regulated businesses because now we can make sure no one, not even Microsoft, can read confidential data without permission. We are safe with Microsoft 365. Enterprises such as finance, healthcare, public services, law firms can now prove that no one will read confidential content without access 
to both of their files. And we have been making Microsoft 365 suitable for Swiss regulation requirements. We can meet legal requirements to keep confidential, keep data confidential, and we within an organization. The Securus 365 encryption key will never leave it to somewhere else. And we stay independent. We make the rules of our own and we enforce these rules by ourselves. So Securus 365 gives you the freedom to use Microsoft 365. Whatever rules you need to comply with. So far, the presentation, and I'm happy to show you an example of how these things uh, look for a user. That's way less complicated than what I was telling you by now, but we will show the example of the demo system here. This is here and share. Uh, you still, maybe you remember Bob and Alice, um, the guys from the, here it is. So you might see that. Do we see it? Positive? Yes, yes. Yep. Okay, thank you. So this is Bob's PC, among other things we see here. And there we have um, this Securus 365 environment with access to SharePoint. Within SharePoint, we have these files. Let's say an intellectual property document, which we start. And this looks like this. And now the trick, the only trick, we say we have the choice. Um, it's secret, confidential, or secret within finance. That's how uh, this company, this example company, has decided their uh, MIP labels. And we now say it's secret. So what happens, you see here, and you see here, it gets watermarks. But here you see switched off the autosave. This is not an option anymore. And I have to save it <clears throat> myself. And then I can close it. And the file lies in SharePoint. So we have the OneDrive um, replication here within. And it's replicated to SharePoint Online, which is here. And we open the same document. And it says, <clears throat> we can't. Because we are not allowed to go here and we get an error message. We can do the same thing uh, even in another way, just to show you. We can have the same make a copy of that file and get it into our presentation and trying to open it. So the message takes a while. It's just so it. Here, I'm not entitled to use it. So I could now um, log in as an entitled user who, so for example, Bob, and then it would be possible. But as long as I'm not Bob, and as long as I don't have access to the key, it's impossible to access that data. And you have seen how easy that was, just saying, it's secret. So far, my presentation, and I hope you got something it. And and if if you have any questions now, I think I'll give over to uh, Robert, 
and he will uh, be open for the questions and he yes will. thank you Hans Rodi thank you for the presentation I think um, it's quite interesting to see it's it's really it's really simple for the end user you know how to use it um, however you need to have clear uh, processes and regulations in or rules inside the company you know you need to have your levels you need to have your data classified and people need to be trained how to do it you know so before we get to the q and a let me show you two more slides and then we are done um it's the question is how can you get securus 365 um Pretty much the service is provided by Securusys. Uh, and we work with companies like iSolutions, Microsoft partners, and they actually help you set up this service inside your company. Because to make it really easy for the end user, there are a few hooks and things that need to be set up properly that it actually works for the end user. And that's what the Microsoft partner company can do. So. If you already have a Microsoft part company uh, or you are one, contact us and uh, uh, you can join the team here. If you don't have anybody, iSolution is happy to, <laughs> to uh, uh, get your call and help you with this process, how to set it up and run it. Uh, a quick summary slide. Um, <clears throat> you as a customer have to decide what level of protection you want. Once you decide what are your crown jewels and decide to use Microsoft double key encryptions, you get your documents encrypted twice. One key is with Microsoft, one key is held by Securusys for you. We have the whole service here in Switzerland um, and we will soon have the service deployed internationally in other jurisdiction. We have the test system running now and uh, the pilot deployments will be next starting next week. So uh, if you're uh, a bold customer, uh, one of the early adopters and you wanna try it out, call us and we can get you going next month. And the general rollout will be for this service in June. That's it for the main presentation and I'm gonna